This is my review of this wireless microphone system. It does come with four mics, at least this one did, but we only needed three, so we're not using the second one right now, which is why it's not lit up. On the system itself, of course you have the power button here, then you have a volume control for each mic, but we actually have it wired up so that it outputs directly to our soundboard and we adjust it from the soundboard instead. We leave it on all the time, but we did notice that when the power goes out, we have to turn it back on. <laughs> we didn't realize the first time that happened, and we were like, why aren't the mics working? Well, it's because when the power went out, it actually triggered this thing off. So make sure that you turn it on whenever you need to use it. That should go without saying, but we weren't smart enough to figure that out the first time around. Here's one of the mics. You turn it on via a switch on the bottom. Then you can see that light come on, and also there's an LED interface that comes on. When you turn the mic on, it'll show on the system that it is connected and paired. So as you can see, those numbers will match those numbers, meaning that these two are paired. This is mic number one, channel number one. It does take double A batteries, and those are located right here. We have found that some batteries work better than others, both in terms of longevity and also just in terms of getting them in and out. If you have slightly oversized double A batteries, they're not easy to get out. So I suggest getting something like either standard alkaline or these rechargeable in a loop batteries. Those both work great. The mic itself is called unidirectional, meaning that it's not omnidirectional. It shouldn't pick up the general ambiance of the room. It has a cardioid pickup pattern. So basically you want to be pretty close to the mic when you talk into it. From here, it'll pick you up a little bit, but it picks you up a lot better when you're talking directly into it. If you're used to working with mics, that shouldn't be a big deal, but some people tend to hold it not close enough. The top of the mic can also screw off, so if it gets dented or something like that and needs to get replaced, you can take that off and replace it. But it works really good. I'd say it's definitely worth it for the price. We haven't had any issues whatsoever with it dropping audio. And this is the size of our room here. And I've taken this mic all around this room, and it's worked everywhere. The description says that it works up to 200 feet line of sight. We actually have the antennas just slightly under this divider right here, and it still just works great. All that being said, it's a great price. It works great. I highly recommend it. There's a link in the description. If you order through that, I get a small commission. I would greatly appreciate it.